what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Fright Rides Halloween 1978 Michael Myers figure now I already knew about these figures because Fright Rides had released these like last year because there was like an initial lineup which consisted of like Michael Myers and I think Laura Stroll and uh, Linda and then those sold out because I knew about them but then they had sold out and I don't really pick up figures like in this scale that's why I was kind of hesitant about it but when I saw that they had like Linda and Laura that's what really drew my attention to actually wanting to pick these up because those sold out like but now uh, Fright Rides have like we stopped those figures because they are now available again at their website and I know they have like three new ones like available now like Dr. Loomis and uh, Annie and uh, Chef Brack too as well but I must admit, I'm definitely kind of excited about this too. And Halloween this is my all-time favorite movie. Even though I prefer like the uh, science fiction genre, this is like my all-time favorite film. The original uh, John Carpenter Halloween. So I'm going to get into this right now. And this is my first time ordering anything from Fright Rides. And I do notice that they give us like some little treats here and stuff. I see we like a, uh, a theme card car right here. Like John Carpenter's the theme. Like this card right here. By the way, this is my third favorite uh, John Carpenter film to it, by the way. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Then you get this rail, uh, Zombie vs. Shark. I think this is like a film or something right here, this car. This is what came with my uh, particular uh, Fright Rides Michael Myers. Then apparently we get some kind of candy, I think. They say it's a sour candy, it's apple, like toxic waste. <laughs> So this came with my uh, Michael Myers figure from uh, Fright Rides. So this is my first time ever ordering anything from the company, you know. <laughs> so as you can see, this is the box art for the figure. And I must admit, I think that is just so awesome. Even I admit, I really don't even want to open this because I don't want to ruin like the packaging. But I love like that, that image of uh, Michael Myers with that. I'm very familiar with this image too. Because the, the ones I really know of it, it's like really like a black and white image. And I didn't know that, uh, but the ones I know of, Michael Myers didn't have like his knife right here, like the butcher knife in it right there, or the kitchen knife. He doesn't have that knife in the picture that I know they, uh, they took this from. But I still always thought that was like a cool image, awesome image of Michael Myers. I like that they even have like his uh, coveralls, you know, or you could say jumpsuit, like green instead of like bluish, because you know they really were like this color, like this olive green color. But the lighting of the film made it look like it was like blue. So as you can see, it does say uh, John Carpenter's Halloween. The night he came home, the Michael Myers action figure. I think they all, they also call these like retro figures. And there's also like a, a special metal way for like comic books right here. As you can see, like the comic books that uh, Tommy had. You read that when he was with Lori, when she was babysitting him. Like the comics they was like talking about. And also like on the back, they have like a, a read up of it too as well. You can see how like the Michael Myers figure is. And they have like a description of him. And you can see how it looks and so on. And it shows like some of the other figures available. Like where it says, uh, Michael Myers action figure. Six year old Michael Myers murdered his sister on Halloween night. He was locked away in Smith's Grove, Warren County Sanitarium for 15 years. On Halloween night in 1978, he escaped and returned home to Haddonfield to continue his murderous rampage. Reenact scenes from the movie or make up all new frightening nightmares with your very own official Halloween action figures complete with accessories and of course they do show like uh like the other stuff you know like also available like Laurie Scroll and uh, Linda I like how you can see Linda whole name too as well and of course you know it shows other stuff too like I'm not going to touch on everything but it does say I like, collect them or collect them all or else and here you can see like a uh, laser man Tarantula Man and Neutron Man because those were like the comic books that uh, Tommy had. I think that's awesome right there that they did. They went that far to that extent. And there's like more read up stuff but I just leave it at that. But yeah I must admit I really love this packaging you know, that is so cool so I'm going to get into this right now. <laughs> what I want to do first is measure the, uh, the figure. Let's see. I heard he's 3.75 inches. But when you measure, it's like he's just a little over four inches, like with the uh, measuring tape. Hmm. So yeah, this is it. The the uh, the fire. So what I do is just talk about it for a moment. So as you can see, this is how it look. I must admit, I like how they got Michael's eyes blackened out. I think that's pretty cool. Now I'm not going too too much like into the detail, cause you know it's just like a um, a retro like base figure. 
and it's good. I know they have a name for these too. I think ReactCon figures too, if I'm not mistaken. But it does like his head can kind of turn. I don't want to force it. But I know his arms can go up. So he does have articulation. That's all you can do though. You can just bend him like that. And his legs can even go up too as well as you can see. So that's pretty cool. He doesn't have any peg holes underneath. But he does have like holes in his hand for like grip and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's the uh, Fright Rise figure. Well, Michael Myers figure. <laughs> then up next, these are the, the accessories that come with uh, the Fright Rise Michael Myers figure. He has like his butcher knife or you could say kitchen knife. The way it feels, I'd be this probably could break too if you're not like careful with it. Then you also can take this and you could put it in uh, Michael's hand too. And I put the knife in Michael's hand. It looks like it's better to have him holding it like this because he drops it if you put it like in a stabbing like position. Movement looks like he drops it. As you can see, the falls right on that. So I think it's best to have it like in the uh, like an underhand position. Like that, like he's holding it down if you want it in his hand. <laughs> then up next, he gets the uh, Judith Myers like headstone too as well. Judith Myers. He came on. <laughs> and of course, you can just sit this right here, like, like you know, right next to it. And they both out, go good together, as you can see. I think that is a little cool. Cause like I said, I don't really normally get figures like of this size, but what really drew me is like they are the they are the uh, characters that's in the line too, as well as what really drew me to these guys. I know they got Laurie Stroll, you know, then and, and all of them. <laughs> okay, there's the Fright Wax Halloween 1978 Michael Myers figure. I think this is pretty cool. What's really drawing me to is that they have like uh, figures based like on Laura's show, like I said, Linda, like Annie and so on, like Chef Brackett. Those was really, that's the ones that are really drawing me because a couple of those have just been released. Like I said, I knew about these because like they had like a lineup, like a series which had Michael Myers, Laura Stroll, and uh, Linda. And those were released like last year, but they had sold out. But now they have been like restocked their fright rides. That's why I decided to go ahead and get into this line. And like I said, they have like Annie now. They also have uh, Dr. Loomis and like Sheriff Bracket too as well. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm definitely up for these. And I love like the artwork that they have like on this, this box rail with the packaging for them. I almost didn't really want to open it. You know, I just wanted to keep them in there because it's so beautiful. I like the artwork of the other uh, box. And like I said before, Halloween is my all-time favorite film. Like the original John Carpenter film. Even though I prefer like the science fiction genre, this rail is like, like my all-time favorite like film. But anyway, I'll definitely recommend these. I guess if you're a fan of uh, the Halloween, especially like John Carpenter's Halloween, I'll definitely recommend picking these up. And I guess if you're a fan of like these kind of scale of figures, because I do prefer like larger figures, you know, but I still think this is like pretty uh, good. Uh, so yeah, uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.